message to let you know that you are one of us, that you are a part of portals and you seem to go through them unconventionally, purposefully and purposely or un or unintentionally, whether it be in your dream state or in, in your meditation, you travel in these multiverses and you are constantly doing work. And through that work, you have caught the eye and the attention of those who don't want to see you ascend and don't want to see you progress. And they have done and placed upon you many, many distractions, some even black magic, which is unfortunate because they have no absolutely no idea that whatever they place upon you, whether it be black magic, curses or whatever, um, hubla hubla they do and they don't realize that they're actually placing these curses and these agendas on you uh, on you and it's actually reversing to them so they don't know that but they'll be aware of it when it gets made clear to them okay just like the spiral in this photo that I'm, that I'm drawing that's just making no sense and it's all over the place that's the multiverse that's the convoluted universe and in the convoluted universe you have entities beings and and frequencies spirit ghosts whatever you want to call them residual um energies resi res residual spiritual attachments auric field attachments because as you know you come here with attachments to your auric field because those are the people and the places and the things that you have to heal from and you have to let go of and cut those cords and sometimes when you're done cutting that cord and you're done healing that entity that auric field attachment sometimes when you're done healing them it's not you it's them it's not you it's them let me make it really clear to you it's not you it's them you have let go you have detached you have cut the cord but like some of them like um like a leech not done ever sucking blood the leech will stay there on you and suck on that blood for as long as it possibly can until you with your hands and the jaws of life clench that leech and get it off of your skin but then what the leech is unaware of is that if you have some illness or something is wrong with your body, that leech is unintentionally healing you. Just like those entities and attachment and those frequencies think that they're causing you all of this pain and this hurt and this tra trauma. What they don't realize is in the process, they're making you stronger. They're making you more powerful. So as they sit there and they leech on your field and they take and they take and they take and they take. What they don't know is how much they've given you. And you won't know how much they've given you either until you recognize that all of the things that have been sent to destroy you have actually empowered you. And once you recognize that your empowerment has come from every one person, place, or thing hoping to destroy you, then you become powerful. And if you don't allow anyone who's trying to destroy you and recognize that they're actually empowering you, then you will find empowerment and fulfillment within yourself. I do, Puma, I do travel to the U.S. and do readings and aura cleanses. I do. You know, obviously, it's it depends on the place and depends on, you know, what's, you know, I do group readings, do group aura cleanses. I do all that, but it all depends on the booking and how that goes and what it what it's like. So like I said, just like this painting, and you need to understand this is why your angels have you here for this message right now. They're trying to bring, bring you awareness that, fuck, you're worried about how you look, right? Sometimes we worry, oh my God, what if people are watching? What if I look like this? And what if I do this? And what if I do that? And <clears throat> what, if, what if people judge me? And what if, um, you know where that comes from? That is coming from the places and the things that I'm talking about right now. Those things that you're losing attachment for. As today, I was watching the Animal Channel, the Discovery Channel, and watching baby animals and baby seals, baby lions. And I'm saying here, and, and humans, and how we are all about this, like, you can't be fat because you're fat and gross. You can't be this because you're, you're, th you're too skinny. You're too fat. You're too short. You're too tall. Your hair is not curly enough. People with curly hair want straight hair. People with big boobs want small boobs people with small boobs want bo big boobs people with fat asses don't want that ass people people with no ass want that ass so what you need to understand is that in the animal kingdom the seal is a fat motherfucker and it just flops around the goddamn sea and it loves its fat ass and the fatter that seal is and the lazier it is the more it's respected in the animal kingdom and boom bam thank you ma'am this is where we have to be we cannot let the animals precede us the birds the lions, the, the, the eagles, the hawks, and we can't let them precede us, but what we can do is take something from them and understand that when we stop worrying about how we look, 
right? Because I stress about that. I was stressing about that for so long. And now when I'm thinking about my health and wanting to do things for my own health and my own well-being, it's become a mental state of not about how people perceive me or how I perceive myself, but more about how I feel. Do I feel light on my feet? Am I giving too much power to foods? Am I pretending that I'm happy being this weight? Am I pretend does that make me feel empowered? And no more am I sitting here with my mind thinking, how do I look? Will I get a boyfriend looking like this? What if people make fun of me like that? What if they call me fat? And what if this and what if that when blah 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 and nobody's really happy when they pretend to be happy and you know what I have decided that I truly want to be happy. And I am not I am not allowing these entities, these beings, these frequencies and attachments because when I'm speaking to you right now, your angels want you to know it wasn't always you. A lot of the times you blamed yourself for the mistakes, quote unquote, which there are no mistakes. You blamed yourself for the mistakes and for the things that were going on and you thought you were such a horrible person and how could I do this again? How could I learn not learn this again? And a lot of times, I hate to tell you this, but you were led that way, darling. Spirit was pulling you in that direction. They were pulling on your aura and telling you, hey, you should do this, you should do that. And even though it is up to us to fight through those things that come through to us, it is up to us to fight through and to not allow these thoughts and these energies to pull us back. At the same time, sometimes when spirit and the universe, when your angels see that it's become too much for you, they are now stepping in because people like me, light workers like me, we report back for duty. And when I see that there's injustices being done to the human society by entities and spiritual energies that are supposed to allow us to have our own free will, but they keep imposing on it because they have nothing else better to do with themselves because they can't seem to move on to the light because they they want to get involved in your storyline. They want to be a part of every single thing you do. So people like me who are light workers, we stop for a moment. We say, hey, guys, look what's going on down here. If I came down here as a light worker and a star seed, and I came here to do the work, I'm going to let you know what's going on. I'm reporting back for duty. And duty says that there are way too many spiritual attachments in past, present, future, time, space, and consciousness, wherever the fuck they are, wherever the fuck they come from, I'm letting go and they don't want to let go. I'm letting go and they don't want to let go. Now here's the thing. I think if we do truly have free will and if my free will says that I break the contract with these low vibrational beings that don't seem to want to apologize and say I'm sorry and work on themselves and do the work, then if I want to break that contract, then the free will within me says that I should be able to break that contract. And if you are not understanding the concept and the message, then how am I? Show me how I can do it. <clears throat> you see what I'm saying to you? And so sometimes what you need to recognize is that you are a powerful light worker and you're here to do the work of the light worker and the light worker has to experience all the darkness so that the light worker can go back and report for duty and let all the angelic realms know what the fuck is taking place here on earth, what the fuck is taking place in other dimensions. And yeah, as light workers, we choose the hardest lessons because we have to actually experience the pain, the trauma, and the low vibrational frequencies because if we don't, we will never understand that they are getting involved in the humanities free will when we should never be having to deal with those that, that type of exposure and sometimes when we're dealing with that type of exposure we can believe that we're in the wrong and guess what i'm here to tell you sweetheart baby whatever you're experiencing let your angels know Please let your angels know you're here to do work. You're here to work with your ascended beings, your ascended masters. Let your star beings know. Hey, um, hi. Mm -hmm. Florina here, reporting back for duty. Um, so this is what's going on. I'm working on myself here. Boom, 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 boom. I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And I'm trying. I'm doing the work. I'm healing and I'm working on myself. And each time I do, something just keeps coming at me. And I'm telling you right now, this is not someone you sent to teach me a lesson because I know the difference. When a dark energy, dark entity, voices, frequencies, negative thoughts are sent to me, I know that it's for my own good because it's a shadow self and I'm learning. And my shadow self is going to heal from that shadow energy. But then there are frequencies that tend to get in the motherfucking way just because they got nothing to do during the day. Do you see what I'm saying to you? 
this is a filter so that's a filter like I don't know how to take the filter off but like this a fil that's my skin right there which it's still really good and it's really good but I did a little filter because I just got home from driving three hours from from New Jersey and it was lovely and I had a great time and now I'm home and I'm painting right now and and I love to paint and channel because I mean it just comes okay <clears throat> they remember a lot more than we do because their souls are newer here on earth like I mean as far as they haven't been that just um obstructed by society yet and so they tend to carry a lot more information than we do because it's like you know they're still here the age is still here the age of um they're still aware they're still pretty much half in half out right like cats cats are half in half out so are dogs and animals and babies they are very very high vibrational um beings and when you want to know if somebody's good or not you could just bring them around a, a very intuitive baby or animal <clears throat> and they'll let you know and if that baby or animal whimpers and cries and hides their tail between their legs and runs to the other room then you should probably get away from that person because the person may not be bad but the attachments on the person might be really scary and freaky and they can see them and we can't because love is blind and it'll take over your mind so <clears throat> you have plenty of tools and plenty of things in this world that can help you and guide you through everything that you're doing if you just pay attention and you just stay aware and you stay focused focus and you don't allow the normal day-to-day -day distractions one of the things that my guides have been telling me is to let go of materialistic wants and needs and not that i want or need for anything however i'm a virgo and i am very very responsible and i like to pay my bills exactly on time pay over the top bills i I'll owe 30 dollars. i'll pay 60 and it's just the way i am as a virgo and a libra rising and a lot of air in my chart i like to be on top of everything because i'm afraid i'm gonna lose track right so my guides have been telling me and they're telling me to give you the this message that in this time they are they are the the mikazi and this time your guides are telling you i know we know we know as humans and you come here and and so many beautiful shiny things get placed in front of your eyes and and you see all these people on whoa what did you just see that what bro what just happened how did my eyes turn blue like that in this what the fuck Yo, I touched nothing and my eyes were regular and they just all of a sudden turned that blue color. I promise you I touched nothing. Well, hmm, somebody's ascending right in front of your eyes. I'm shape-shifting right in front of you guys. Are you scared? Are you afraid? And yeah, I, I do shape-shift. I do. A lot of people will tell me that I look different here. I look like a different person there. Every year I tend to shape-shift and... I'll tell you guys right now, when you're hearing shapeshift and you're thinking, oh, demon. No, sweetie. <laughs> Ascended being is that is what I am. <laughs> a wise master is what I am. <laughs> okay? Part of the, the, the uh, light workers unit of galactic federation of beings of enlightenment and ascension is what I am. And is what people are who are giving you the knowledge and wisdom that you need.